Welcome to howtocookgreatfood.com Hi, welcome to howtocookgreatfood.com On the menu today, aubergines cooked with mung beans. This is a delicious vegetarian, or even vegan dish. It's very simple. Let me just run through the ingredients. At the back here, I've got some cooked mung beans. To be honest, you can use any beans. You could be using chickpeas in there, some lentils, entirely up to you. I'm just using mung beans today. On the other side, I've got some beautifully chopped chunk aubergine, which I've cleaned. Down at the bottom here, I've got a medium-sized onion chopped, and I've got two medium-sized tomatoes that I've chopped, Fair, fairly small. All the magic really is in that little sensor bowl. There's some chopped chili in there, green chili, entirely up to you how much you put in. I've got like three or four in there. I'm a bit of a heat seeker. I've got a nice heat teaspoon of minced garlic. I've got salt and pepper, and I've got tea two teaspoons of ground cumin. Delicious, delicious, very easy. Let's go and do it. Okay, like I said, very simple. Look, I've got my pan here. I've got a touch of olive oil in there. You can use any oil you want. That's entirely your choice. I'm going with olive. Look, let's get our little magic bowl in. Look at that. This is so easy, this dish. So this is our cumin powder, our chili, our garlic, and a little bit of seasoning. Just infuse that oil with those beautiful spices. Then let's drop our onion in there. Just a little mix. I've got this on a kind of medium heat at the moment. But simple. I'm going to get the lid on. Just want to cook these for about three or four minutes, then I'll be back. Okay, let's take a look here now. Lovely. Incredible smell, really. So we just cook those just for a few minutes. Just to make them go slightly clearer and soften. Here we go. Let's get our aubergine in, or our eggplant, or brinjal even, depending on where you come from in the world. Nice and chunky sort of cubes here. Again, we're gonna just mix this around. These aubergines will now soak up most of the oil. So what we're going to do, we're going to pop the lid back on. Like I say, medium sort of heat. We're we'll just slowly cook these, soften them down. Let's take about five or six minutes. Keep your eye on this. You may need, if it gets too dry, just to add a little splash of water. We don't want to burn this. So yeah, just keep your eye on it. And if you need to add a little bit of water, feel free. I'll see you in about five or six. Okay, let's take a look. Fantastic. There was no need for me to add any water. There's quite a lot of steam coming out there. So we just press on this aubergine now. There you go, there's still a little click to them. When I press it, it's got a little click. They're not complete mush. I don't want that just yet. Okay, let's get our our beans in. Like I say, I'm using mung beans. Use whatever you like, just some pulse. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, now our tomatoes. Get our tomatoes on, but don't mix them in. Just leave them on the top there. Cook these for five minutes with the lid on, but don't stir this now. You'll see when I come back. Okay, let's take a look now. Just a few minutes there. Now, yeah, the reason I don't want you to mix these straight in, get them nice and soft on the top. I always find this really helps. You know, they sort of disintegrate much nicer there. Now what we do, give it a stir. Oh yeah, this is great. This is really good. Smells amazing. If you want, touch of water. There's a splash on this one. Oh, 
just can't wait to eat this. It's delicious. And again, I'm going to do this. You don't have to, but why not? I've got some flat leaf parsley here. You could use some coriander or some dill or fresh basil just to finish it off. Wow. Really, this is incredible, really. It's cheap, it's really good for you. Why don't we eat more vegetarian food? Really, everybody, that dish is done. Enjoy that with whatever you want. Maybe some brown rice. See you next time. Howtocookgreatfood.com Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. For more information, take a look at our website, www.howtocookgreatfood.com.